Hello everyone, welcome to another Octane tutorial. This time we're going to cover Tune Lighting in Octane for Blender. Let's get started. So we're going to continue from our last project and basically open that up and we're going to remove all the lights. First of all, we have to bring in a tune light. So we're going to start doing that by bringing a point light. A point light is automatically a omnidirectional tune light. Now there's two light types for tune lighting, and that's point lights and sunlight. In order for the lights to affect the object, we also have to change the material. So we removed the universal material and applied a two material to our objects. We're going to add an RGB color to change the color of our lights. And one thing you'll notice that by using RGB color, the power parameter does not seem to affect the scene. But what we can do is raise or lower the value of the color to control the intensity of the light. Now I'm going to bring in a sunlight, which is a directional tune light. going to grab an RGB color node and plug it into the tune direction light. Now, now that we have that node there, we can also switch out the tune direction light and make it also into a tune point light. So even though you bring in the different light sources, you can still control the light type through the node system. What I just did there was to change the way you control the lights. You can control it through the light object direction, or you can control it through the node, which gives you an interface where you can slide your mouse around to move the sunlight. Now we're going to try to experiment by bringing in a geometry and see if we can set that geometry to emit a tune light. This works for physical base lights, but it does not seem to work for tune lights. As you can see, nothing is lighting up. Now I'm going to try a directional light. And also nothing. Now I thought maybe the geometry is blocking it, but even when I delete the geometry and just leave a empty node, it still doesn't work. So I'm satisfied in saying that switching a geometry to a tune light will not work. So what I'm going to do right now is show you the basics of the tune material and how that affects the look.
The specular controls the intensity of the highlights. As I slide it back and forth, you can see it. And the roughness controls the size of the highlight. So that makes sense because the rougher it is, the more spread out the highlight. And we can control where the light is coming from, either from the tune lights that we set up, or we can make the light source come from a camera. Now these are various smoothing options to control how the shadows fall on the objects. We can even control the thickness of the lines based on curvature and even the opacity of the object. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below.